4. Romans chapter 4. Thank you, Heavenly Father. And we just want to look at verse 12. We've been discussing this, and those who've been here a while are very familiar with this chapter. Verse 12. If you have to say warfare. Warfare. And the father of circumcision to them who are not of the circumcision only. Amen. But who also walk in the steps of that faith of our father Abraham, which he had been yet uncircumcised. And that means he didn't he didn't have no organized religion or denomination going on for him. He didn't have no marks in his flesh or anything. There wasn't no Ten Commandments. There wasn't no law. It's just him and the, uh, the voice of the Lord. And when they summarized all the things that the Lord said to him, it said Abraham kept all the ordinance commandments and obeyed the voice of God. Amen. So God was his religion. <coughs> Amen. All right. Nobody can take claim for that. And that's good for us. Amen. Because we were just like him. We were idol worshippers. All right. Oh, yeah. Don't get quiet now. We were walking like Americans. Uh huh. Yeah. And God had to come snatch us. Mm -hmm. He had to do a work in our human spirit. Yeah, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to deliver us mm -hmm. from walking like Americans. Americans. All right. Amen. As some of the poets used to say in the 70s, mm -hmm. uh, they were walking like Egyptians. Mm -hmm. Walk like an Egyptian. Mm -hmm. He walked like a Mesopotamian. Mm -hmm. But we want to look at his steps yes. because... He is the father of those who live by faith. Can we say live by faith? And uh, his walk, not only did the Holy Ghost say he was justified by works, but this man of God became a friend of God. He didn't sing the song. They had, he walked the walk. He was a friend of God. So it behooves us to take a closer look at his steps. Uh, I haven't met many that said they're a friend of God. Amen. <laughs> or rather, God said they were. So now if we look at uh, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 10. All right. All right. First time 20 years ago. Okay. And I've been tracking his steps ever since. And so uh, ask the Lord to have mercy on you Amen. so that um, you can get the tracking as soon as possible. Amen. 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 Now you look at verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare. All right. So the Holy Ghost comes back and have mercy on us and say, we are now in a war zone. A war zone. That means mm -hmm. warfare. All right. That means casualties, injuries, mm -hmm. even death in some cases. All right. So we got to be on high alert now. Mm -hmm. But mighty through God. All right. 
Okay now, amen. I don't know where you're going to get mighty in God if you're not on your knees. All right, talk to me. Come on now. Amen. Amen. So don't be talking about these bum knees. Every day. All right. God is. So we have to be on our knees first. That's how we fight, from our knees up. First, amen. He said, but the weapons of warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity. Amen. Amen. Can we say every? every. And that's the standard. All right. All right. <laughs> Did it say some or every? Every. every. You know we're going to have to be on our knees. Because some of them thoughts we're going to have to chase down. Yes, sir. All right. They're not going to come in willingly. They ain't in. No, they're not coming in willingly. Coming in willingly. No. Oh. Every thought to the obedience of Christ. Amen. Now, if you turn to Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 1, mm. verse 18. First Timothy chapter one. Uh -huh. If you have it, say warfare. Warfare. Uh huh. This charge. I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies. Can we say prophecies? prophecies. Now, where is the prophecy that, that went, which went before on thee? Can you find it right now? If I say, go get the prophecy that was prophesied over you, can you go get it right now? Is it in a prominent place where you can see it? Do you know what it's encased in? Mm -hmm. And do you look at it? Well, don't look sad at me now. <laughs> you can redeem the time and go find it. <laughs> well, say nobody prophesied over me. Well, ask the Lord to do it for you then. All right. Because here we find an out. If we're going to be in warfare, it's going to have to be with the prophecies that went before on thee. That thou by them mightest war a good warfare. All right. See? See, in other words, that prophecy tell you what you're supposed to be fighting for. All right. You see? You see? And we're going to get to that in just a minute here. All right. Amen. Amen. But he told Timothy that uh, uh, those who were in warfare, when I was in the army, first thing they told me was that you no longer a civilian, you belong to us. Right. Civilian life is over with. See what that says over there? Matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you how they say, here come old Slick. He couldn't make it out there. He had to come in here so we can feed him and bed him and give him a house. <laughs> Oh, it was all in the face. Yeah, you couldn't make it out there, could you? Mm -hmm. You had to come in here so we can take care of you. We know who you are. All right. Uh -huh. He said, when we get through with you, you're going to be a soldier. A soldier. Mm -hmm. And I said, boy, if it's somewhere I can run away from him. Because <laughs> right. Sergeant O'Reilly said, oh, by the way, I'm going to kill you before you get out of here. I said, he's going crazy up in here. Right. <laughs> They cut my little Jerry Carroll off. I said, wait a minute now, hold up here. Because <laughs> see, the first three days, Bishop, they brought us in, fed us snacks and juices and TV. I said, well, this is all right right here. And then, boy, them guys come in there with them old brims. They looked all calm. Mm -hmm. I was saying, man, this is all right. I thought it was going to be like Sergeant Carter. I'm going with Pyle. <laughs> We rolled up on them bear. Get out of here! You don't want to get out of here! Get out with that bear! Get out with it! Get out with that Listen, I couldn't do seven push-ups. 
See, so uh, one of the things we're going to have to learn is that uh, uh, those of us are in warfare, we're not too entangled with the affairs of the world. All right, in warfare. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Now, we want to look at, we done set the stage. We want to look at Abraham and spiritual warfare. All right. Okay. Now, if you turn to Genesis, I believe we want chapter. I got to get out of here. Uh, uh, Genesis chapter. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's start with uh, chapter 13. I'm going to have to jump right in here real good. Um, now, uh, look at Genesis chapter 13. And we're going to start with verse 5. And Lot also, uh -huh, which, which went with Abram, okay, okay, had flocks and herds and tents. And the land was not able to bear them that they might dwell together, for the substance was great, so that they could not dwell together. And there was strife between the herdmen of Abram's cattle and the herdmen of Lot's cattle. And the Canaanite and the Pizzerite dwelt then in the land. Can we say trouble? trouble. See, Lot was trouble. Here, Abraham is his uncle. And uh, watching out for him, basically. Mm -hmm. And he's trouble. He didn't go and say, you guys stop fooling with my uncle's men. Whatever they want, you leave it alone. He was letting the thing go on. Look at him say, you're going to have trouble with saints. You got some saints always causing trouble. Like me. See, Bishop can't say to me, Pastor Brown has not given me one day of trouble since he's been here. <laughs> Boy, I'd be jealous when he say that. I say, man, I couldn't be on that road. <laughs> now, you see, he over there giving him trouble, see? And not only to give him trouble, but then there was strife. Unnecessary strife. All right. Okay. And so now look at the steps that Abraham took. Ab Abraham said to Lot, mm -hmm. okay, okay, let there be no strife, young man. Come on now. I pray thee. Now he humbled himself to his younger nephew. Amen. Between me and thee, and between my herdmen and thy herdmen. For we be brethren. Can we say we be brethren? Yes. Yes. See, you, you, you got to know how to handle strife. You don't put it on the word outreach uh, uh, party line. You go right to the brother yeah. or the sister. Okay. Yeah. Say, we be brothers. Can we talk about this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And, and, and uh, he said, I pray thee, you know, is not the whole land before thee? Separate thyself, I pray thee, from me. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. If thou wilt take the left hand, then I will go to the right. Mm -hmm. If I depart to the right hand, then I'll go to the left. Mm -hmm. And Lot lifted up his eyes and beheld all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, even as the garden, the Lord, mm -hmm. like uh, the land of Egypt, as thou comest unto Zohar. And Lot chose him all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east, and they separate themselves the one from the other. Now, you know, what God put together, don't let no man put asunder, but God didn't put this together. Lot wasn't supposed to be in the original call at all. But Tira took him. And then when Abraham left, when he was 75, he went with him. You see, just following him. Hey, um, what's up? You see? All right. And, uh, and, and Lot and, and says, uh, and Abram dwelt in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelt in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent toward Sodom. Now, if you look at uh, Genesis chapter, um, let's see, we want to pick up. 
Okay, we want to pick up with the same chapter, I mean Genesis 14, we want to pick up with uh, verse 12. Y'all know the story, and I didn't want to pronounce all those names. So let's pick up with Genesis chapter 14, verse 12. <laughs> We got some English majors in here. <laughs> Even Haley trying to correct my tongue. And they took Lot, mm -hmm. Abram's, brother's Abram's brother's son, son. who right. dwelt in Sodom. He said he dwelt there now. We see, we don't, he living in there. First he pitched his tent. Mm -hmm. And his goods and departed. Okay now. And there came one that had escaped and told Abram the Hebrew. For he dwelt in the plain of Mamre, the Amorite, brother of Eschol, and brother of Aner, and these were confederate with Abram. And when Abram heard, can we say heard? heard. Now see, the kingdom of God suffered violence, but the violence take it by force. Amen. Amen. Now when he heard this news, that his brother was taken captive, now can we say the troublemaker? The one who took the best. The one who wouldn't honor his uncle. This one. This troublemaker. This tag along. He, he just tagging along. He ain't got his own grace. He's on the grace of, 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 of Abram. And, and, and so when he heard that this troublemaker was in trouble. Uh huh. So he should have asked Abram, he should have told Abram, no, you choose. You choose. All right. But you know how greedy saints are like me. You say, I can have every, all of it? Yeah. That's what I like what Mother Walker said about Bishop. For, forgive me, Bishop, for using you. But I used to sit out there and talk to her out there in that seat, Mother Walker. And she said, Bishop Smith reminds me more of Bishop Mason than any man. Now, I'm not trying to give Bishop glory, but that's just what the grace of God did in him, right? But she said, one thing about him, he ain't greedy. He ain't greedy like the other ones. <laughs> he said, he ain't greedy. You know, Bishop goes to the store. Forgive me, Bishop, for using you again. He goes to the store. And he said, well, get what you want. Bishop takes his name. He might get one shirt, one tie. He might get a pair of socks. If they push him, he might get a pair of shoes. Now, me, I'd be in there saying, I'll take four of these. I'll take four of these. I can get what I want. I want matching socks, tie. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? Look at this. Abraham wasn't, Abraham wasn't greedy. And so we find out here that when he heard that the troublemaker was taken captive, who followed him, the one that followed him around, the one that was not in the original call, he armed, can we say armed? armed. His trained servants. His trained servants. Uh-huh. He armed them. He had more, uh, he had some untrained, but he only armed the trained. All right. Okay. Now you got to ask yourself, am I trained? See, the warfare is that all of us are trained. When we find a brother in trouble, we got to mount up and go get him. Even though they're troublemaker. He caused trouble all along since he's been there. But Abraham wouldn't got him because he's ready to go. Because <laughs> you're already trained. Can we say trained? Now Abraham went for got the troublemakers too. You see, not me. I said, well, he made his bed, let him lay in it. You know? He armed his trained servants, born in his own house. 318, and pursued them unto Dan. And he divided himself against them. He and his servants by night. They night warfare. So they can't see good. You got to know how to fight them day and night. Bishop might call us. Yeah. I'm going to be happy when you get through with me. All right. okay. mm -hmm. And they I told you was up there. Find it. You see, see, Abraham, 
uh, his steps were steps that right. he went to warfare. warfare. He ain't talking about I'm supposed to have nations. He went to war for his trouble making no good. Always bump back. Yeah. When Bishop says it's time to go to warfare, don't be talking about warfare. You already trained. You know what to do. We're going to get Brother Brown. He he's showing out. He in the club backing it up. We're going to get him. Come on, Brother Gilbert, <laughs> Pastor Evan, Brother Brazen, Pastor Agnew. Come on, we're going to get him. Sister Brown and send a 911 out. He back there backing it up. <laughs> Go get him. That's how Abraham fought. Wouldn't God and let the goodness of the Lord work on him? Amen. Bring them to repentance. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Can we say warfare? Warfare. warfare. <laughs>